What's the damn deal, people? You know who it is. Yeah. Today we're going to be doing a Texas fried steak. You know, the Texas, the big steaks, the big fried steaks. You did. Like, comment, subscribe. Even share if you feel like it. That boy can cook. We're going to be right back to go over the ingredients. Then we're going to start making some Texas size fried steaks. In a minute, y'all. All right, family, let's run through these ingredients real quick. We got about a cup and a half of all purpose flour, of course. And I already made it up. I got two eggs and probably like a half a cup of milk mixed it together. That's gonna be five batter. We got some kosher salt. That's gonna go in the flour to give it some flavor. Got some black pepper, a lot of seasoning, and coarse black pepper. That's gonna go in the flour as well. And of course, you can't fry nothing without the oil. Of course. The main ingredients, y'all, I almost forgot. And you want you some cube steaks. Cubed. The little tenderized steaks. Yeah. All right. Let's get this thing started. All right, family. As you can see, we got the oil heating up, getting ready to do the oiling. Get it? <laughs> All right. So let's get our steaks ready. Get these boys out. Ready to go. Cube steaks. That's what I mean when I say cube steaks, people. All right. So what we're going to do. I don't like touching the steaks and then touching my bottom, so let me change the gloves. All right. I'm seasoning it with Lyra's and just black pepper, y'all. Nothing special. If you want to add onion powder, garlic powder to it, be my guest. It's your world. It's however you choose to do it. But then me, for me, I just, like I say sometimes, for me, simplicity is the best. Since I don't want to touch the meat, we're going to do that. Be creative. How about that? All right. Let's season that boy on up. Mm -hmm. There we go. That's all the seasoning I'm putting on mine. I mean, if you want to, you can do more. Let's do that. Season this boy. Mm -hmm. All right. You get the idea how to season. I'm not going to do all of them. We're going to be right back at you to drop them in the fry. Family, we got our cube steak seasoned up. Now let's, let's get some flavor to this flour, y'all. We got to get some flavor to the flour. So, like I said, I got about a cup and a half of flour in there. We're going to take one. Let's do a teaspoon of kosher salt. There it is. And we're going to do the same with the black pepper. Of course, black pepper, that is. Ah, there it is. And of course, you know, we got to blend that together. Give it a good little mix. Make sure everything is incorporated. Just like that. Nothing hold it all. All right. Now, what we're going to do is, all right, let's take our steak. Now, let's drop it in the egg and milk mix. Okay. Put it in our bowl of flour, of course. And once you get it covered, you want to kind of smash it out to spread it out a little bit. Make it bigger. It also helps with your tenderness. So, matter of fact, I'm not going to do it in a bowl. Let's get messy, y'all. So you just want to flatten them out. Going to make them pretty large. Cook time will not going to be as long. And it won't be so tough. Or stringy, as I would say. I'm not going to say tough. I'm going to say stringy. So we're just going to 
Mash it out. Just mash it, mash it, mash it, mash it, mash it. You don't want to mash it till you break it. You don't want to break it because it'll fall to pieces. And then you'll have pieces of chicken fried steak. Texas fried steak. Let me correct that. I said I'm going to stop saying that. I'm a Texas representative, so it's Texas fried steak out there, y'all. It's Texas fried steak. That's what I call it. That boy can cook Texas fried steak. There it is. See, that's a pretty big piece right there. Yeah. Now we're going to put it back in the milk and the egg mixture. Okay. And before we drop it in the grease, let's make sure the grease is ready. Yeah. It's ready. It's ready. All right. Now we're just going to repeat the first process. Egg and mixture milk. Egg and milk mixture. We're going to dip that in there like we did the first time. Then we're going to transfer it to the seasoned flour we have made up. And you want to coat it well so you can get that crust on there. You get that flanky crust. Yes. And it is. Okay. All right, there it is, y'all. There it is. Texas fried steak. I'm gonna drop the boy in the oil. All right. Like I say, repeat the process with your second piece. You see what size that is? Now wait till I pull it out. Show y'all what I'm talking about. All right. So like I say, egg milk mixture to the flour. Once you get it coated, you start spreading it. Start putting a little pressure on it to spread it and to loosen the tendons in it. That's what I wanted to say. You don't want it to where the tendons is all tough. So let's just mash that boy on out too. Yeah. Here we go. Look how big we made it. Look how big we made it. All right. Repeat the process, y'all. Repeat the process. All right. Let's get this boy up in here. Okay. There we go. And like I say, you want your, I don't know if I did say, let me stop lying. You want your grease on a medium heat. You want to cook it too fast. You just want to cook it just right. All right. Look at that. It's a big old piece of meat, y'all. Let's move this one over a little bit. You don't want to suffocate the pan. So two is enough. Two is enough, y'all. All right. Had to get rid of the gloves. Had to get rid of the gloves. All right, my family. We're going to let these boys cook. Y'all already seen how I do it. Y'all already seen how I put it together. Y'all already seen how I put it in a pan. You, you know what the grease is supposed to be on. You know how it's supposed to go. So when we come back, look at that. Mm. They say if you ain't dirty, you ain't working. If you ain't dirty, you ain't working. All right, like I say, I'm gonna put them boys on the plate. I got that country gravy that I made. Go back and check the video for that. I put y'all on game on that too. All right, I'm gonna quit rambling. I'll be right back with the finished Texas fried steak with country gravy, baby. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm your boy. That boy can cook. I'm telling you, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. It's going down. We be back. All right, family. Let me show y'all what it looked like before I put that gravy on there. So y'all don't see it. Y'all know ain't nothing fraud going on over here. 
It's that Texas fried steak, y'all. Let me hold it. Let me hold it. I, I can't drop that. It's, ooh, look out now. Look out now. See? See? That's what I go through just to show y'all what we made. But there it is right there. I'm going to slap some gravy on that boy. And give it some presentation. And we're going to bite into it. And we're going to see what we made. We know it's good, though. But we got to try it out. Right back at you. And we got another one, family. There it is. The Texas Fried Steak. The creamy gravy. Creamy pepper gravy. You know I got to bite into it, but I, I, I ain't just... I don't want to do it like that, so give me a minute. Let me set it down. So I'm drop this. That's a that's a, a work of art right there. I can't drop that. I can't drop that. That's valuable. See? Tender. Cut it with a fork, y'all. Mmm. Yeah, it's the Texas fried steak. All day, every day, even on a rainy day. It is what it is. Like, comment, subscribe. Amen. Our boy can cook. Come. Okay.